Hello sweet friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rachel and this is Rock City Cookies. It's time for another quick tip Tuesday. In this series, I give you tips and tricks on how to level up your cookie game. When I first started making cookies, I really wish someone would have told me what to do when you mess up a design or when you just don't like the work that you did. Maybe the colors don't work. Maybe the design doesn't work. There's something in the cookies that just doesn't work and you need to start over. When I was a beginner cookier, I would do one of two things when this would happen to me. One, I would count the other designs that I had made and see if I had enough cookies to scratch that design element completely. Completely. or two, I would break back out my cookie dough, turn my oven back on, get the cookie cutter back out, and start over with those cookies. Both of those options meant that I had to sacrifice. Either I had to sacrifice my original design or I had to sacrifice my time and start over. So in today's quick tip, I wanted to give you an alternative to save time and expense. Now, the cookie that I am working on in this video was for a tie dye set. Now, I showed the completed set in one of my tutorial videos from last week. I'll link it up above if you want to watch that. But as I mentioned in that video, I had a hard time coming up with a tie-dye design that I liked, which meant that I messed up a lot on these cookies. So instead of trashing your cookies, praying that you have enough dough to start over, here is an alternative. Using a tool, we are going to scrape off the icing from these cookies. Now in my cookie journey in scraping off icing from cookies, I have used a lot of different tools. So let me save you some time and give you some tips. Whatever tool you use needs to be as flat as possible. But at the same time, you don't want to use a knife to do this process. The reason for this is, is because the knife will actually end up cutting into your cookie which doesn't leave you a flat surface anymore and kind of makes a mess and it potentially breaks your cookie while you're scraping the icing. I have also found that sometimes spatulas work but they are also a little bit too big for this process. If you use something that's too big it, it makes it harder to handle and get all of the icing off of the cookie. The best tool that I have found for scraping cookies is to use a palette knife. There is something about the shape of the knife and the size of it that just gets right in between the icing and the cookie and leaves you a smooth finish. Now the best time to scrape a cookie is when the icing is still a little bit wet. The longer the cookie dries, the harder it is to get the icing off of it. It can be done, but it just takes a little bit longer to do so. So armed with a palette knife and a bowl to put the extra icing into after you've scraped it off of your cookie, let's get to scraping some cookies. So this is the palette knife that I chose to use. It was one of the biggest in my set and it makes it really easy to get in between the icing and the cookie. As always, I will link these palette knives in the description box below. Using a back and forth motion, slowly remove the icing from the cookie. Continue to scrape your cookie until all remaining icing is gone. Now don't be surprised if there is some coloration left on your cookie. That just happens because of the dye from your icing, but it's not really a big deal if there's some color left on your cookie because your new icing will just cover it right up. Now I know someone might say, hey, there's nothing wrong with those cookies. They look just fine. However, I decided after I'd already done quite a few cookies that instead of doing three colors on one type of cookie, and three colors on another cookie, I was actually going to do all five colors on one cookie. So that meant that all of the cookies that I did not do that on had to be scraped and redone. So I'm gonna scrape all the cookies and then I'll give you some final thoughts. Okay, the six cookies that I wanted to redo have now been scraped and I have a fresh surface to start over. While it seems like that was a lot of work to scrape the cookies, it was still a lot less work than getting out my supplies again and rebaking the cookies and starting over. So, 
I am now ready to redo my tie-dye design with all five colors on one cookie and instead of using a scribe, I will be using my palette knife to drag the icing, which will give it a better result as well. And again, if you want to see the completed tie dye set tutorial, be sure to look in my playlist for decorated cookie tutorials. Okay, that is it for our quick tip Tuesday. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you learned that it's okay to start over, save yourself some frustration and time. Nothing has to be perfect. Never be afraid to try again. Be sure to like and subscribe down below. And until next time, my sweet friends, bye-bye.